hearing though, I'm hearing a lot of things. Um, so maybe we'll, cause I think that, that you're, what you're bringing up is not uncommon, right? Because people come in around the holidays. I should, right? I, the should is so big and shoulds, should is a judgment mm -hmm. and is very much related to guilt. This, which I, I definitely do not subscribe to guilt. I yeah. can't find any um, way that it really serves us to kind of be mired in our own guilt or our own shoulds, and we all do it. Yeah. So maybe we'll look at that. And really, I heard you say, I just want to do my art, <laughs> which is like, when do you get to have days off, open time and doing art is wonderful to do when you just have a big open space. You know, art takes, it takes time to drop into the space of creativity. So yeah. you don't just say, well, I have 15 minutes, I'll do some art. I mean, you could, if it's all set up and everything, maybe, but it's not the same, mm -mm. you know, because creativity provides a very um, particular flavor of nourishment, which actually does tie into evolution. So because, because to evolve is to live in your creative, you know, to allow the soul to creatively change and shift. So, um, all right. I think I'm gonna tell the meditation to you. So thank you for bringing all of that forward. And I know that probably people watching this ha have lots of shoulds because we all do. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Thank you for bringing up that word should, and it does go right along with guilt. And I just need to let it go. <laughs> mm -hmm to let it go and to, to then also, and this is why as soon as you realize that you're doing it, you could say, oh, wait a minute, that's a should, I'm shoulding, I'm shoulding myself, right? <laughs> Which is kind of a, it's, it's kind of brutal that we, we um, shoulding is, is very kind of like self-flagellating behavior and we can fall into it because we have very high expectations for ourselves and because we live in a culture where we should get a lot done. Yeah. And, and we should make a pie and we should make a turkey and we should visit family, even though it might not be the right thing for this year, which you described, hey, my husband's body and back and neck get, gets all out of whack. So why would you do that? It's the should. And so freeing ourselves from shoulds allows us to align with what's true. Align with what's true is a very different way of living. And we align with the truth, which means we have to notice the things that we're doing that are, are our conditioned behavior patterns or are somehow foisted upon us from outside. So it's a very rich topic. And I think that the holidays um, do bring up a lot of shoulds. Well, I should buy more presents or I should do more volunteer work or, you know, I, I don't know. That would be an interesting one to unpack and maybe we will. So great. Well, let's, um, let's meditate. Meditation on freedom from shoulds. So just closing the eyes. Taking a breath and allowing the shoulders to melt down away from the ears. And letting the breath be your ally, an ally for settling. And just for right now, since somehow you have made the choice to be here, you as the rare mother have carved out this time for yourself. To rest.
This is your time to be nourished. And it's no small thing to carve out eight minutes to meditate or 10 or 15 minutes to take a walk or stretch your body. See if as your body begins to relax, you can allow all the thoughts of things that you imagine you should be doing other than this, other than turning your attention toward your precious self. Just letting the thoughts float by. It's like big puffy clouds in the sky. Letting yourself really drop in and down. And since we are only a couple of days away from Thanksgiving, it's a busy time. It's the beginning of the holidays. And taking quiet moments 